Hi and welcome everyone. In this video I will show you how you can use the VLOOKUP formula uh, in another sheet. If you're not familiar with VLOOKUP formulas then please check out our other video explaining the basics of it. Um, if you want to use a VLOOKUP formula in another sheet you'll first have to use the import range function. That's in order to um, yeah, allow access to the other sheet. Um, in this sheet, I have uh, an, um, a certain amount of products listed um, and I want the matching sales uh, numbers in column B. Um, the original data is in this sheet uh, containing all the products uh, within different categories. Um, and I will import data from this sheet. So I'm going to start by uh, giving this sheet uh, access to the other one by using the import range formula. So um, I will need, first of all, the spreadsheet URL of the original file. Uh, or you can just copy the key right here. Um, OK, and I'll paste it here. Next, I will need the range string, um, starting off with the uh, list of the, the sheet you want to import the data from, and it's called sales. And then, just to make an example, I will only import uh, cell A1, just to allow access. Okay, so, so right here you get an error message uh, stating that you need to connect both of the sheets and you can do it by clicking on this button. So right now we have access to the other sheet and can start uh, performing our VLOOKUP formula. So um, we'll just erase this field and write VLOOKUP formula. Um, First, we have to fill in the search key, and it's going to be this cell, so A2. Next, we have to fill in the range. Uh, here, we're going to use our import range formula that we used before. So we're going to import uh, data from the other sheet. Um, and as we did before, we have to fill in the key, the spreadsheet key, or the URL. Uh, and next, the um, the range string we're going to import. So it's going to be sales again, keep it a letter, and then the data we want to import. Um, and it's going to be uh, A1 to H15. Okay, close our brackets, and then we um, give up the index number. Uh, of the value that needs to be returned. Uh, the first column in our range is numbered one. So we'll have to go and look for the uh, index number of the sales column. Here it says H. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so our index number is eight. And then we'll declare that our, uh, the column that is needed the column that needs to be searched isn't sorted, so we'll fill in false. And then we close our brackets. Now you can see the VLOOKUP formula is, uh, was used. Now we just need to expand the results to the other uh, rows. So we'll double click the little square in the right bottom corner. And now we see all the corresponding uh, sales values to the products. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please join us again later for a new tutorial and I will see you next time. Bye.